with my propensity for showing up at the last second, of course. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right, in that case, welcome Dalmont. Um, uh, we are going to be checking out the SFW Aquila tonight. So please tell me all about this beauty that you brought in. All right. I wanted to make something chunky, and I have to give a shout out to, I think, uh, Geek Ninja. He had made a ship that was fairly similar to this, and I just like the shape so much I had to do something along those lines. It's just a uh, chunky, blocky, solid ship. It's also moving around. Yeah, that was me. I think I got too close. Too close for comfort. Yeah, I forgot about these guns I've got on this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful angle. You can see all the lighting on the detail there. Oh wow. Yeah, there's a lot of extra layers of hull gone over the top of what most people would consider finished. And then colour changes and lighting accentuations through uh, choice of contrast. Very nice. I tried to cram a lot of uh, detail in it. And one of the hardest things to do with this guy was to not do uh, probes and ribbing bits. everywhere. <laughs> probes, rimming, rimmy bits. <laughs> ah. By the way, and yes. this one, you have to come in through the door. Uh, it's worth it. Uh, oh. If you fly underneath. Wait, underneath? Underneath. There's at, there's three different places you can come in. But, but you want me to come in go... the bottom? Yeah. Where's That's the, the best one? You're, the, you're right there if you hopped out right now. Uh, okay. Hello. Right, so yeah. where are we? I'm making my spacewalk. Okay, I'm out. All right. The, normally, uh, I, I would just need to faction this quickly. But okay. this thing sits on the planet perfectly. It's a planetary uh, patrol yes. ship. So I think I might have seen this one land actually when you were working on it. So I'm in gravity. Oh boy. Yep. So we nice. basically walk up in through the uh, the entrance there, and then we have a little probe bay. Yep. So whenever you need to do probulating things or send people out the airlock, we got that there. Just in case. Yep. And then uh, it's very simple interior because it's a short duration chip. We got this little area here, and then an interesting way to come up, to come up using ham space again for our uh, staircases. And then we have the hyper compact bridge, which really needs a Mobius chair. Yes, it I think does. I think we need to do a review on the Mobius chair. Yeah, we do. At some point, <laughs> I've been mentioning it. It's all about Mobius chairs now. Yeah, pretty pretty simple and straightforward. You know, kind of cut and dry thing. Um, definitely a nice little runabout. Uh, I like flying this thing around just because it just feels so solid. Hmm. Yeah, it does feel quite tough in here. Usually nice mine core. tend to be a lot more curvy and... Nice core and lighting, use of wedging, as always, the staircases are quite tidy. That, uh, that bridge reminds me of, um, the, uh, Klingon Bird of Praise. It Those dark red right confined count. ones they have. <laughs> yeah. Was that the That's, idea? That is exactly the idea. You're not, you're not looking at a Bird of Prey ship, are you? Because I totally no. didn't see what it was on the outside. No, no, we're not. It's, nope. it's, it's the Aquila, which is... I would have felt like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's because it is a stuff. Bird of Prey cavalry. <laughs> no, it's not, no. This is an original design, as it's to be expected from Dalmont. Uh, I will run the stats by you on this real quick. It's 85 meters long, 20 meters high, and 39 meters wide. And Tom... With your uh, extensive experience, I would like to, you to give me an estimate of shields. An estimate quick. of shields? Oh, yeah, give me, I'm sorry, give me a mate. I've got no idea, mate. It could be anything. 85 meters long. Come on, give me a ballpark. 85 meters long? I don't know. 300,000? Ooh, see, you are good. Two hundred. Uh, but wait, there's more. 266. Oh, really? Yep. 266,000, we've got uh, 6,000 wow. DPS coming out of our primary cannons, and then we've got uh, 10,000 more coming out of our extra turrets. 
for a grand total of, I think, 16,000 and some odd DPS. Nice. But if you order today, we'll send you not one, but two. Exactly. Exactly. Is this, we'll is this send a public you release? Uh, not yet, but it will be. This is actually going to be the next one that gets released and is uh, a patrol ship much like the uh, crossbow, which is going to be featured in another video. Very nice indeed. Well, I can't wait to see that. And, uh, you already have. There it <laughs> is. No, the video. Oh, right, right. right. Unless, it's, unless I'm filming it right now, in which case no, I, I mean, also already have. You've, you've already filmed it. Oh. Oh, right. If things just got really meta. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got a something-ception. Not quite sure. Video Tomino-ception. Tomino-ception. Yeah, it's temporal. Oh, boy. So, yeah, I love it. Okay, so I think we're going to move on to the next chip in the review now. So thank you very Indeed. much, Damon. I know you're going to continue to hang around with us. No problem. Uh, left the no back problem. open so we can see that escape pod it's really nice fill up fill up yeah, this and thing I, sits on the planet really comfortably and I, yeah i hope to see more of this in future videos it feels like a sister ship to my new ship you know it uses the same turrets uh reskinned yeah oh could i get grab a reskin oh wait mm. that, of course i've already got a reskin <laughs> derp Okay, so <laughs> moving on, <laughs> we'll just sweep that one by and we're going to find <laughs> the uh, next.